On August 29th, that's a Thursday, at Churchill Theater, they're having the Storyteller Sessions come back to entertain the audience once again. And today I am joined by Daphne Ekman and Carly Winter, and Sally not here is PJ Abbott, who are going to be taking the stage and having a Storyteller Session. Hi. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us. We're so excited. Yeah, thanks for having yeah. us. So is this like a, a neat experience to be able to get up on stage, tell your stories, sing your songs, interact with the audience? Daphne, tell us, what's it like? Um, I think that where my songs come from are from a very personal place. And I have always been really into lyrics and crafting different metaphors and, and kind of seeing how it intertwines with the music. So it's really fun to be able to kind of have that be the focus and then also hear like Carly and PJ's um, songs yeah. like up close and personal right. it's it's so intimate and right. I love the intimacy w like with music right between and the audience anyone in the area who's gone to cult classic or they maybe they, they go out and they see local music they've seen you both in the area <laughs> plenty of times so Carly how could this be different um I think definitely like at cult classic it's more of you know, a there's a lot of great people there, but some people are there for the energy of the music um, and not necessarily, you know, listening to the lyrics. And I always say, like, there's two different types of people who listen to music. You listen to the music or the lyrics. And I feel like these types of shows definitely draw in more people who are there for the lyrics and the stories and the context of all of it. I read a quote from you that you're, you're like, if they cry, good. Kind of yeah. Thing, right. And yeah. You, what, what's the music that you're going to bring to the stage, and what kind of emotions do you hope that can come out of this event? Yeah. Um. Well, <laughs> I play with my band a lot, and I think I'm really excited to kind of play solo for the first time in a while, um, because in that context, you're gonna kind of really understand where I'm coming from. Yeah. Um, the songs are very, very based on my real life, so. Mm -hmm. I think it kind of gets you a little closer to who the person is that's delivering the music and the connection, you know, the humanness right. um, of the music, um, which is why I do it. It's a very cathartic thing to write for me. Um, and sharing that with people, um, having them kind of get, a, get an inkling of that, um, they can, you know, assign whatever meaning that they think it is to it. And if it makes them feel something, that's why I do it. So Colin, what type of music can people expect? Um, sad music, <laughs> but um, it's my favorite kind. I guess I never know what to say what, like, when people ask what, what genre we are. Yeah. Um, yeah. I guess there's some folk, there's some like indie folk, there's, you know, there's some southern twang in there for me at <laughs> least. Um, it honestly depends what mood I'm in. Um, but yeah, definitely um, music that is like you're able to kind of dive in deeper to it. Before we let you go, we're going to ask if you want to play some music. You think you want to play some music? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and real quick, I, we should shout out PJ who couldn't join us today. Yeah. yeah. Have, have you both been able to see PJ? So PJ Abbott is one of my favorite acts coming out of Baltimore. Um, they are the writer and lead singer of Holiday Video Star, which is the project. Mm -hmm. um, we played a couple of shows last year together, um, and they have this really shoegazy, indie kind of vibe, um, really reminiscent of like Angel Olsen, if you're familiar with her. Um, and it'll probably be like our sad songs on steroids. And they're just absolutely incredible. And you feel every single word from them. They don't play out that often and they have a lot more music coming. So mm -hmm. this is a rare opportunity to see them play. Mm -hmm. Well, rare opportunity. So. You need to be at Churchill Theater. You need to be. Thursday, August 29th, doors open at seven. Probably bring tissues. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, bring your feels. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But be ready for a good time. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. <laughs> Can't wait. They'll see you there. But now we're going to listen to some music. I was looking for you on my TV But got up when I noticed scratches on the screen And couldn't help but think of what you're doing to Scene. 
Have the energy to dash a no parts of me. I said I didn't like the way he drank it, got angry. Making snide remarks until his friends got him home safely. And now I'm drinking something pink and crinkle violets. All my friends are talking about their weekend in the island. I'm watching them just bubbling And I'm over it Elijah What the hell is wrong with me If they could see what I could see They know I don't mean Anything I say I just want you me To be okay Offend you That swinging just one Thank you.